Welcome to Driveway Garage. This is going to be just a short video on changing the spark plugs on a 2002 Chrysler 300M with the 3.5. First thing you got to do is unclip these electrical connectors. Just push on the further part of the tab here and then wiggle it. It'll pop off of the coil. And then you've got two T25 screws or bolts to hold them in. I've got uh, those all loose, I've got my wiring connectors all off, and I have one spark plug out. Now, I was just running this motor because it overheats, so everything's really hot. So I'm using a rag and some pliers and even my uh, cordless drill with the spark plug attachment on it. And you can even just use a regular socket, of course, but everything's really hot so i just have to be careful what i'm doing so i don't burn my fingers but once you get the connector off and the screws loose just grab that coil wiggle it a little bit and it'll come out of there and i think i'm going to try i'll bring a table over here and keep these organized i want to i want to keep track of the coils and the spark plugs in case i have a problem i can keep track of where it was but uh, once you get the coil out, use your socket, the wrench, or in my case, the cordless drill on reverse, and get the spark plug out. And sometimes this works. As you can see, that baby is tight. So, hang on a second. Okay, I went and got another extension so I can get up off of that intake manifold or whatever it is. Now I got a little clearance. Now this is best done with two hands. One to steady this and one to turn because what you don't want to do is break the porcelain off or snap off your spark plug. So I'm going to set the camera down and break that loose. Normally I can get spark plugs loose with this Hitachi drill but not that one. Then once I have it broke loose, I can just back it out of there. And the spark plug socket has a rubber gasket in there that grabs the spark plug so you can just pull it right out. So that's all there is to it. Uh, check each spark plug. They should have a, I don't know, maybe kind of a tan color like that. I don't know how old these spark plugs are, but the car runs really good, but it's overheating. I replaced the thermostat, and I think it's going to end up needing a head, uh, yeah, head gasket repair. But I'm going to check all my other options. I know the fans are coming on, but maybe there's some kind of a restriction, air bubble or something. So before I go adding some stuff to fix the head gasket, I'm going to check all the spark plugs, see if there's any sign of a blown head gasket. Which is why I'm taking the spark plugs out to begin with. But it's pretty simple. Anybody can do it. Like I said, you need a T25 to take the bolts out, the little ones, spark plug wrench. Now they are pretty deep down in there, so you'll probably need either three three inch ones or a six inch one and a three inch one like I have here. That way you can get your wrench up off of this intake manifold I think that's what that is and uh, it's plastic so it's not so hot but the metal is really hot thanks for watching hope this helps somebody else well I just wanted to add these bolts have spacers on them which I didn't know fortunately I only misplaced one of them so I'm going to get up here with my magnet search around hope I can find it Otherwise, I'll have to improvise. But uh, each one of those bolts has a little spacer on it. And I'm missing one. So I've got to figure out where that went. Just a heads up.